Okay, we're ready to go. Back live once again in the Founders Club. I'm Tony out, joined now by Coach Rick Kozabak of the Tri-City Americans. Coach, congratulations on a fantastic win tonight. Thanks, Tony. Gee, Coach, that's four in a row. That's five out of the last six. You beat number one. You beat number three now as far as in the rankings. And that's two in the Western League. I want to, I want to clarify this. That's number three throughout major junior hockey throughout all of Canada. So that, that's really a big, big step up there. And uh, you come in tonight and uh, you played some hockey and uh, walk out with a shutout and two big points in your pocket. Well, it was critical wins for us. We look back at our schedule. This is really the only point in our schedule we had games that we thought were, were really tough for us. Uh, to play in Kamloops and then to come back you know, and get in here at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and then have to go out and play again. We knew this was going to be the toughest part of the schedule. So um, for us... I don't think this one works a heck of a lot better. Put them both together and uh, work equally I think as well. that one's working there, too. Yeah, that's working. Uh, but then we look back at this at earlier in the season. We, we knew this was going to be a tough part for us. Um, Camels, to beat Camelops and Camelops is a real feat. Um, they're the only team, uh, I think, they've only lost one of the games. Seattle is the only other team to beat them. So to play up there is a real tough, tough test to come back off the bus and, uh, and woo, wow. Yeah, we're, we're getting it all worked out behind here, Coach. Anyway, to, to, uh, to be able to pull this one off tonight was a great feat for us. I thought our guys played defensively very well, and again, I thought our goaltending was just uh, was phenomenal. And uh, that's the kind of effort we need from everybody. I think the guys are playing a lot better. And to win five out of six, yeah, that's the first time this year, and finally it's... Uh, it's coming together, isn't it? I think so. I hope so. I mean, you know, we mentioned the word playoff here a couple weeks back, and then it seems to me like uh, the guys are thinking second season. And uh, actually, there's 72 preseason games, and then it's the regular season. That's what I've always been told. And these guys are really wanting to make an effort to really try to find Seattle and say, look, we want to have home ice advantage in the playoffs. Well, it's a long road for us. I don't know that, that it's, uh, it's a realistic goal at this point. We'd like to think that we could get to second place, but we're going to have to beat them a number of times yet. We're going to have to hope that Kamloops beats them. We're going to have to hope that somebody else is able to beat Seattle along the way. They've got an eastern swing to go through, and as does Kamloops. And I think that's always a test for anybody, particularly the way the eastern teams are playing now. So there's a chance, and, and all we can do is uh, all we can do is control how we play. We really can't control how Seattle or Kamloops plays. We just can control how we play, and that's important for us right now to go out and play. You're getting a lot of help uh, as far as uh, goal scoring. You're getting Kyle Reeves now. Kyle Reeves has scored four goals in two games, and one of the things I've noticed about him, he, he's not known for using the body a whole bunch. But in the last couple of games, he really has. He's thrown the body out there. Tonight I saw him. He was out there playing with so much intensity. I don't think I've seen Kyle play like that, uh, as, at least at home. I don't know what he looks like out so much on the road. But at least at home, he was really, really out there tonight. Yes, if you keep hammering the nail hard enough and long enough, it eventually gets down to the bottom of the board. So I think with Kyle, finally we may have reached a point where he understands that's how he has to play if he wants to continue to play a lot. And he does want to play a lot. The thing that separated him from getting an awful lot of ice time from a little bit of ice time to next to none in the way of ice time was exactly that, his intensity to play. If he can pick up his intensity to play the way he is tonight and the way he did in Kamloops, played a very good game in Kamloops, actually, um, then he'll see a lot of ice and his game will improve and he'll be a lot happier and, uh, and we as a team will be a lot happier. Jason Bowen, he has really come along too. He's got a couple of goals in the last couple of games. And a guy that's uh, really young but... A lot of future ahead of him. I mean, here's a guy that could really become a real decent blue chipper. Oh, I don't think there's any question about Jason Bowen. He's not draftable for another two seasons. Um, he will, without question, unless he completely falls uh, by the wayside, he will be a first rounder. He may be a first overall when his draft has actually come around. He's, he has so much potential. He's playing tonight with a broken nose. He got into a little scuffle with a an older player in Kamloops, and, uh, and he broke his nose, and he didn't seem to bother him at all. He played tonight. He scored a goal tonight, and uh, he's just one of those kind of young guys who's coming to play every night. He's, uh, he's a great competitor, a solid player, and I know he's going to be a, a great, great future for the franchise. Coach, Victoria, Tuesday night, a team that has played the Americans very tough. Uh, a game where the Tri-City Americans, uh, our team, the, the Tri-City Americans, seem to mirror quite a bit. They mirror them, and they play to their level when, when they get together. Uh, are you kind of hoping that a letdown is not in the, in the offing there? Well, I, I'm not, I don't think we're going to have a letdown, but our difficulty is that sooner or later, <coughs> Victoria are going to win a game. Um, 
happening. Maybe I'm going to be wrong. Maybe it won't happen this year, but I think it's going to happen. Uh, and I just hope that we're not the team that has uh, to play them and, and take the embarrassment of losing a game. And, and we're capable of that sometimes. I don't, I don't think our guys are going to get let down now. Uh, when we played the last time in Victoria, we didn't play very well. Um, but I don't think we played poorly enough to lose. And I, I think they realize that they have to play hard against Victoria. They don't always play the game that maybe they would play against a Seattle or a Camelos, but I think they're going to play a little bit better than they have. And it's important for us just to win the game. I don't think that anybody really cares how bad we beat a team. I think what's important for us is to play well enough and keep the defensive part of the game solid and win the game. And, and hopefully we can do that against Victoria. It'll be real tough going into Seattle um, the following evening, but um, that's we take it one game at a time. There you go. Coach, I know you got a team meeting that you got to go down to, so I'll let you go. And we'll go ahead and wrap it up here for tonight. Again, the Tri-City Americans destroy the Seattle Thunderbirds by a score of 5 to nothing. Again, congratulations, Coach, and uh, we'll talk to you on Tuesday. All right. We'll go ahead.